Kevin Shippey. speakers for it, but then keep them lower, but then put them in like little right. corners so everyone can hear, hear the movie if they want, but also it's, it's not even really I'm about in hearing the movie, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's not going to be like IMAX, you know, Star right. Wars kind right. of things. You know? And it's during, there'll be meal service happening on the patio. We'll be finishing up meal service. Uh, the kitchen closes at 9. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll get like, hopefully get uh, some late meal service, but also, you know, we're going to do like, like, fun kind of popcorn and little snacks and kind of movie themed kind of things late night, you know, little dessert items. Um, but um, yeah, it, I think it would could actually be lower than when we had the guitar player out there because he was using just one kind of guitar amp. Sure. Um, yeah, we never got complaints about him out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds cool. I don't have any other questions. Too. I will make a motion to approve your application for amendment to the entertainment license for Dr. Oil and Company LLC, DBA Caminito, 7 Old South Street, um, for outdoor movie screening on the patio. A second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Number four, application for short term liquor license, Oxbow Water Ski Shop Team. Date and time, Saturday, July 27, 2019, 1130 a.m. to 4 p.m. Also, July 28, 2019, 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is Old Springfield Road, Northampton, 35th Eastern Regional Ski Show Competition, Wine and Malt. Can you please state your name for the record? Yeah, my name is Sarah Pratt, um, representing the Ski Show Team. Great, thanks for coming. Um, I know that we've done this before, mm -hmm. I think, a few guys, so it's yeah. pretty much the same. Okay. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Insurance yeah, where do you stand on that for the insurance? 
I believe <laughs> Debbie Duda um, has been handling that for me. She couldn't make it today, so I apologize, but I would have to refer to, okay. to her on the standing of the insurance. Okay. I'm sure that we could uh, I don't either. We approved it in the past, so. Yeah. I will make a motion to approve the application for short term liquor license for the Oxbow Water Ski Team Show Team as outlined in item number four on the agenda with a contingency of insurance being submitted. Second, one in favor? Aye. Aye. So we'll need that insurance to go to Annie. Okay. ASAP. I will let her know that. Great. Right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Item number five, application for short-term liquor license, trustee of the Ford Library, DBA Ford Library. Date time Wednesday, August 7th, 2019, 530 to 7.30 p.m. 20 West Street, Art Exhibit Reception, Wine and Malt, and request a fee waiver. Can you state your name for the record, please? Uh, Dylan Gaffney, Library of Ford Library. Thank you for coming. Um, same as always? Same as always. Yeah. Usual monthly artist reception. Awesome. And I'll make a motion to approve item number five, application for short-term liquor license for the trustees of Forbes Library for the date and time and location as outlined on the agenda. And I also move to approve the request for the fee waiver. Uh, second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. So we have enough time because we're not here the day of our license, so you just send it to us. Yes, uh, I'll email Faith okay. and tomorrow and just let her know it's ready. She usually just comes to me to Okay. All right, she's away this week, okay. but she'll be back well in advance. Okay. 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 Thanks. See ya. Thank you. See you in a couple hours, maybe. Yeah, see you soon. <laughs> sure. Item number six, discussion on outdoor seating with alcohol service. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, everyone that has outdoor seating right now does have a permit with DBW, so that's good. Um, there's three that have no barriers or anything, and that's Amanu's, Fresh Pasta, and Fitzbillies. Um, for Amanu's, I look back at their, their minutes from when it was approved, it doesn't look like he, there was no really no conversation about the requirements of it being, like, of there being a barrier or something to prevent public access. So, my suggestion is to send a letter to let them know what the requirements are and that they have their needs to be mm -hmm. yeah. um, And Veracruzana has a barrier. Oh, okay. I think so. Well, they do know because okay. they were recent. They were more recent. Yeah. Approved. And they do know. So yep. if I'll take a walk down there and if they don't, then I'll uh, just send a letter okay. reminding them and letting them know that they need to be. Mm -hmm. um, Fresh Pasta is pretty much the same thing. They were approved for two tables in front of their building in 2006, and there was no, there was nothing in the minutes indicating that, that there was a conversation about it. However, on May 11th, they were approved for a seat in the back. Yep. Um, and there was talk of the owner saying that he knows that like, there needs to be bowlers, bollards, and mm -hmm. planters as a barrier. So they know. So was this, so since I've been on the commission and people have come for outdoor seating, it's always been a requirement that, so is that an ABCC thing or is that a it's local? It's an ABCC okay. requirement. Okay. Um, and all it really says is that um, the premises must be enclosed by a fence, rope, or other means to prevent access from a public walkway. Okay. Um, so my suggestion for fresh pasta is basically just sending them a letter reminding them of the requirement and letting them know. Um, fixed Willie is a little different. Um, 2011 is when they received the approval for it, and there was conversation about it in the minutes. Um, and Fred Gore said that he stated he understood that he must use a rope or other barrier. But 
Public Commissioner Real at the time said that a licensee can get an outdoor tables and chairs permit and no barrier is required if only food is served. I've seen beer out there, for sure. Okay, so it's unclear whether there, because there, right now there's like six chairs that are over to the Fitz Willie side. The side and there's three Red Bull tabletop chairs in front of Toasted Owl. Right. So there's no chairs there which suggests that there's no food service or really anything outdoors because the chairs don't go, aren't with the tables, they're completely separate. Right. So, right. and are there low tables with the chairs? No, it's really there's cool. just chairs sitting like right, right there. Where they oh, oh, they're always open. Oh, they're open. <coughs> yeah. So it's just it like those tables make me think that people are either outside waiting for a table or smoking a cigarette or I, I don't know if they bring alcohol. I mean, you say I have you've seen, seen it. it. Yeah. So we're walking by and wondering. Oh, they don't have a delineation. They look that tea? I said, oh no, that's a pint of beer. Yeah, okay. Okay. But well, maybe they have, I mean, they might have an internal policy that just got slipped up or something. I don't know. Um, but I got their tables and chairs permit from the DPW, and they're not even compliant with that. Okay. Originally, they were, they were, they were going to have six tables, 12 chairs, and they were going to be, like, three were going to be in front of Toasted Owl, and three were going to be in front of its willies. And they were going to be like chairs that you could share with you and you have a meal at. Right. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we, we sent a letter and asked them to explain what's going on out there and then go from there. And maybe or, include the, is that the map that they provided us? This is, they provided us in 2011. Okay. Was, um, can we include a copy of that? I would say this is what was approved. Yeah. I can't really do anything about the DPW permit. Yeah. Right, right. But I don't really care. No, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what. It just doesn't. I mean, people aren't having meals out there. And they, they, they would be able to do that if, if they were just serving food, but they're not serving food. Or maybe we skip that asking for an explanation and just say you're not in compliance, you need to fix it. But I mean, our, our primary concern is that they're not in compliance, right. as opposed to the well, how many I mean, tables that you have. A friendly reminder is going to be the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Instead of what are you doing there? Um, if you give him exactly what was approved for what he went for and, and laid out the guidelines, then there's no instead of or there's no trying to find out what he's doing. This is what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah. So. I guess a week before this, I didn't know that you've seen beer out there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was just people waiting for a table. Right. Well, that's what made me think. You know, the, the most recent people who've come to serve or to put tables and serve outside, they all have their fencing. Yeah, right. It's not a very nice place to sit. So no, I think. no, never want to sit no. there and eat. Yeah. yeah. So I can see maybe just chilling out. You know, like you said, if they're smoking. They're yeah. Right. The table yeah, they're there. just sitting outside to wait. But they can't bring an alcohol out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they might think they can because it's licensed, but it's not following it. If he chains it, can he? Okay, so just add that. To That's what I'm going to include yeah. the ABCC requirements. Yeah, just say, you know, <clears throat> we noticed there were no delineation. And then I'll check on whether it comes out. Yeah, I don't think they have one. Thank <laughs> you. 